You described the existence of billionaires as obscene in that speech. Should anyone in this country be a billionaire? I think what we need to do is recognise there's such grotesque levels of inequality within our economy that that has to be tackled. Um, I, I can't, it's difficult to come to terms when you have 150 billionaires in this country at the same time having people queuing up with food banks. Um, and we have you know, 700 people died on our streets homeless last, last year. What we want is a fairer society, and that means fairer taxes, where people pay their taxes and we don't have the scale of tax avoidance itself. In that way, if we have a fair taxation system and we're growing our economy and the distribution of the rewards of that growth are fairly distributed, we won't be in a society where we have this vast range of inequality. If that 150 figure was lower at the end of a Labour government, would that make you happy? I think it's more about the proportions, it's more about the range. I'd rather, you know, they was asked that question on the very British coup in that novel. They asked the then Labour Prime Minister, would you abolish first class? He said, no, I'd abolish second class, we'll all be in first class. And it's about levelling up rather than levelling down. The existence of wealth inequality, I think most people would accept is... Uh, a blight on our society, but what about the products and services that the people who have profited from their existence, they're to the benefit of our society as well. I mean, is the existence of Microsoft computers also obscene? Is the existence of Amazon also obscene? Or is it more the distribution of the money? No, it's, it's about the distribution of the wealth that is created by the workers themselves within those companies. And so what we need to do is make sure that we have a fair distribution. It is the workers who create the wealth. And of course, the workers, I include management and others. So what you need to do is recognise that wealth should be more fairly distributed. And in that way, we don't have low wage, insecure economy that we've got at the moment. Labour has committed to uh, abolishing tuition fees. What about historic student debts? Well, we'll abolish tuition fees. That'll be in the manifesto as well. Um, in terms of debt, the system's collapsing already, exactly as we predicted. Um, the government is having to write off some debt already, uh, and it's an issue that has to be addressed at some time in the future because the system is collapsing. And I'm saying to all political parties, this system has to be addressed at some stage. Jeremy Corbyn mentioned it in the 2017 election. He didn't quite pledge it, but he implied heavily that he was going to be looking at I think he said we'll be dealing with historic student debt. That was two years ago. What kind of movement has been made by the Labour Party on the issue? Are we in the same position of, oh, we want to do something about it, but we don't know what it is yet? Well, we've been working through different ideas, but also we've been saying to government, they've had to write off debt already. And whoever's in government has got to address this issue. You're a Republican. You cracked a joke about it on the stage there. Big interview this weekend with Prince Andrew. Has your view of the monarchy changed in light of what he said when he sat down with Emily Maitlis? No, I, I, basically I am a Republican. I have a lot of respect for the Queen. She does a good job and I've met her a number of times. I'm part of the Privy Council, so I have nothing but respect for her. Um, but in terms of this Prince Andrew interview, I've made my position clear. I think he should cooperate with all the relevant agencies to help the victims of this injustice. So you'd support the calls then for him to speak to US law enforcement? Yes, I think he should cooperate fully. John McDonnell, thank you for taking the time. Thanks a lot. Disparities in pay between senior executives and other employees have become, well, extreme to the point of what some have described as obscene in recent years. If someone gave you one pound every 10 seconds, it would take you more than 300 years to become a billionaire. Someone on the national minimum wage would have to work 69,000 years to be paid a billion. We have 150 billionaires in this country. A newly qualified year nurse would have to wait 50,000 years. No one needs or deserves to have that much money, and it is obscene. It's also obscene, by the way, that these billionaires are buying access and tax breaks to Boris Johnson's Conservative Party. We know whose side Boris Johnson is on. He said it. The billionaires and the bankers and big exploitative corporations.